This audio is brought to you by Muslim Central. Please consider donating to help cover our running costs and future projects by visiting www.muslimcentral.com forward slash donate. Ya Abdullah, Ya Amat Allah, in our previous majlis, we had stopped in lesson number 10. Ad-Darusul Aashiru, Ad-Darusul Aashiru, walhamdulillah. And we were introduced to many matters in lesson number 10. We were introduced, for example, to possessive pronouns. Qalamun, a pen. Qalami, my pen. This ya indicates possession. It is my pen. Qalamuhu, his pen, masha'Allah. Qalamun, a pen. Qalamuhu, his pen. Qalamuha, her pen. Sumayya's pen, her pen, masha'Allah. Qalamuka, your pen. Assalamu alayka, assalam to you. Qalamuka, your pen. Kitabuka, your book. Walhamdulillah. Ya Abdullah, ya Amatullah. We were also introduced to the word li. Li indicates it is mine, it belongs to me, I have. Example, li akhun. I have a brother. Li ukhtun. I have a sister. We use the word inda when it's an item, an object. Example, ka, book, pen. We wouldn't say li qalamun, but rather we would say indi qalamun. I own a pen. I have a pen. Indi sayaratun. I have a car. Indi baytun. I have a house. Walhamdulillah. We were also introduced to male names that end with a ta. Example, Usama. What does Usama mean? Usama means means lion, mashaAllah. We know that Usama was that famous companion of our Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, very, very beloved to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Usama ibn Zayd, mashaAllah. And Usama was put in charge at a very young age to lead the army heading out to, heading out to face the Roman Empire, subhanAllah. His father previously, Zayd, was in charge, and now later on in history, Usama is put in charge, and he's only what? He's, he's under the age of 20, mashaAllah, tabarakallah. And under him, under his authority, is Umar the giant, walhamdulillah. Ya Abdullah, ya Amat Allah. We move on bi ta'ala. Lesson number 10. We had uh, already read through the passage. We went through the dialogue between Muhammad and Hamid. For example, Hamid said, Man anta, who are you? Ana talibun bil jami'ati. Muhammad says, I'm a student at the university. A anta talibun jadidun. Are you a new student? Naam, ana talibun jadidun. Yes, I'm a new student. Min aina anta? Min aina anta? From where are you? Ana min al Hindi. Where's you from? Min al Hindi, from India. Masmuka. Ismi Muhammadu, Ismi Muhammadun, my name is Muhammad, what's your name? My name is Muhammad. وَمَنْ هَذَا الْفَتَى أَلَّذِي معك? And who's this youngster who is with you? هُوَ زَمِيلِي He is my colleague. أَهُوَ أَيْضًا What does أَيْضًا mean? مَا مَعْنَا أَيْضًا أَيْضًا means also. أَهُوَ أَيْضًا مِنَ الْهِنْدِي Is he also from India? لا هُوَ مِنَ الْيَابَانِي No, he is from Yaban. What's Yaban? Which country is Yaban? He is from Japan. مَسْمُهُ What's his name? Ismuhu Hamzatu. So Hamza is a male name that ends with Eta. And so it follows the rules of female names in that they are diptotes, that they are allergic to double dhamma, double fatha, double kasra. Ma lugatuka ya Muhammadu. What's your language, O Muhammad? Lugati al Urdiyatu. His language is Urdu. Ahiya lugatun sahlatun. Ahiya lugatun sahlatun. Is it an easy language? Sahlatun means easy. Sahl easy. Ahiya is it. Is it what? Is language. Is it an easy language? Is Urdu an easy language? Naam. Hiya lugatun sahlatun. Yes, it's an easy language. Wa Hamzatu ma lugatuhu. And Hamza, what's his language? Lugatuhu. Lugatuhu. His language. 
لغته اليابانية وهي لغة صعبة His language is Japanese and it's a very difficult language أين أبوك يا محمد Where's your father O محمد أبي في الكويت My father is in Kuwait أبون is father A father and أبي my father أبي في الكويت He's in Kuwait هو طبيب شهير He's a famous doctor وَأَيْنَ أُمُّكَ And where's your mother? أُمُّن mother. أُمُّكَ Your mother Speaking to a male أُمُّكِ Your mother Speaking to a female هِيَ أَيْضًا فِي الْكُوَيْتِ مَعَ أَبِي She is also in Kuwait with my father هِيَ مُدَرِّسَةٌ هُنَاكَ She is a female teacher there أَذَهَبْتَ إِلَى الْكُوَيْتِ يَا مُحَمَّدُ have you been to Kuwait, O Muhammad? Adhabta. Dhahaba is the verb. Adhabta, the alif of questioning. Adhabta, did you go? Did you go to where? Ila al Kuwait. Ila is harf of jar. Ila al Kuwaiti with the kasra. Why? Because of ila. Ila al Kuwaiti, ya Muhammadu. Naam. Dhahabtu. Yes, I went. Dhahabtu. I went. Jalastu. I sat. Katabtu. I wrote. Qaraatu. I read. Salaytu. I made salah. Wazamiluka aina abuhu. And your colleague. Uh, where's his father? Abuhu fil yabani. His father is in? His father is in Japan. Abuhu fil yabani. His father is in Japan. Huwa tajirun kabirun. He is a big businessman. Alaka akhun ya Muhammadu? Alaka akhun ya Muhammadu? Do you have a brother o Muhammad? Alaka akhun ya Muhammadu? Do you have a brother o Muhammad? Naam, li akhun wahidun. Naam, li akhun wahidun. Yes, I have one brother. Ismuhu Usama. His name is Usama. وَهُوَ مَعِي هُنَا And he is here. مَعِي Got two words in it technically. It's got مَعَ which means with and the يَا me indicating with me. He is with me هُنَا over here. في المدينة المنورة in مدينة المنورة. منورة means the illuminated, the lit up, uh, the shining, the bright, the bright city, the illuminated city. وَلِي أُخْتٌ وَاحِدَةٌ And I have one sister. Take note, when he said أَخٌ, he described one brother with وَاحِدٌ, masculine. But when he spoke about sister, he said وَاحِدَةٌ, because, because it's a female. إِسْمُهَا زَيْنَبُ Her name is Zainab. وَهِيَ فِي الْعِرَاقِ مَعَ زَوْجِهَا And she is in Iraq with her. With her husband, her spouse. Zojuha Muhandisun, her spouse is a is an engineer. Muhandisun Muhandisun engineer. Aindaka Sayaratun ya Ahi. Do you have a car, O oh my brother? La Ma Indi Sayaratun. Ma Indi Sayaratun. I do not have a car. Indi Darajatun. I have a I have a bicycle. حمزة عنده سيارة حمزة he has a car ما شاء الله brothers and sisters we read through this in our previous majlis this was just a little bit of revision إن شاء الله وذكر فإن الذكر تنفع المؤمنين and remind for verily the reminder benefits the believers والحمد لله brothers and sisters تمارين the exercises we've gone through uh, exercise number one uh, we've done six of them, insha'Allah. And then we had mentioned seven to twenty-two was your was your homework. We hope that you've done that bi idnillahi ta'ala. Number seven, alaka ukhtun. Alaka ukhtun. Do you have a sister? Let's say you do. So you would say, na'am, yes. Li ukhtun. Li ukhtun. I have a sister. Li ukhtun. Number eight. أَعِنْدَكَ سَيَّارَةٌ Do you have a car? Let's say you do. نَعَمْ عِنْدِي سَيَّارَةٌ نَعَمْ عِنْدِي سَيَّارَةٌ Yes, I have a car. Number nine. أَعِنْدَكَ دَرَّاجَةٌ Do you have a bicycle? Let's say you do. نَعَمْ عِنْدِي دَرَّاجَةٌ عِنْدِي دَرَّاجَةٌ 
عندي دراجة I have a car أعندك قلم أعندك قلم أعندك قلم Do you have a pen? Let's say you don't have a pen So how would you answer? أعندك قلم لا No Comma ما عندي قلم ما عندي قلم ما عندي قلم I do not have a pen ما عندي قلم ما عندي قلم I do not have a pen أعندك دفتر أعندك دفتر Do you have a notebook أعندك دفتر أعندك دفتر Do you have a notebook do you have a notebook? Let's say you don't. لا ما عندي دفتر. لا ما عندي دفتر. لا ما عندي دفتر. No, I do not have a notebook. أأبوك تاجر. أأبوك تاجر. أأبوك تاجر. Is your father a businessman? أأبوك تاجر. Is your father a businessman? Let's say he is. نعم أبي تاجر نعم أبي تاجر Yes, my father is a businessman نعم أبي تاجر Number 13 من أين محمد Let's say he is from Durban محمد من Durban محمد من Durban Let's say he is from Johannesburg محمد من Johannesburg جميل Number 14, ما لغته, ما لغته, what's his language? لغته الإنكليزية, لغته العربية, لغته زولو, لغته الأردية, whatever it might be, whatever his language might be. Number 15, أين أبوه? Where is? Where's his father, your father, my father, what does it mean? أين أبوه? أين أبوه؟ Where is his father? أبوه في البيت. His father is in the house. أبوه في السوق. His father is in the marketplace. أبوه في دربن. His father is in دربن. أبوه في مكة. أبوه في الكويت. Is in Kuwait. Number sixteen. أين أمه؟ أمه في المطبخ. His mother is in the kitchen. أمه في العراق. His mother is in Iraq. أمه في الكويت. His mother is in Kuwait. Whatever answer you want to put. Number seventeen. من أين حمزة؟ من أين حمزة؟ In the passage, where was حمزة from? حمزة was from. حمزة was from where? حمزة where was حمزة from? من أين حمزة 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 was from Japan ما شاء الله من أين حمزة هو من اليابان هو من اليابان هو من اليابان he is from Japan ما لغته what's his language لغته اليابانية لغته اليابانية لغته اليابانية his language is his language is Japanese, mashaAllah. Lugatuhu yabaniyatu, mashaAllah. Number 19, Aina abuhu? Aina abuhu? Where's his father? Aina abuhu? Abuhu? Abuhu fil Kuwaiti. Abuhu fil Kuwaiti. His father is in Kuwait. Abuhu fil Kuwaiti. The next one, Aina Zainabu? أين زينب؟ Where is زينب؟ أين زينب؟ زينب في المدينة المنورة. زينب في المدينة المنورة. زينب في المدينة المنورة. You can mention her name زينب في المدينة المنورة. Or you could say هي في المدينة المنورة. هي في المدينة المنورة. She is in مدينة المنورة. أين زوجها؟ زوجها؟ في العراق زوجها في العراق her husband where's her husband her husband is in Iraq أزوجها مدرس is her husband a teacher أزوجها مدرس أزوجها مدرس لا no زوجها 
muhandisun. Zawjuha muhandisun. Her zawj, her husband, is in is a is an engineer. Her husband's an engineer. Masha Allah. So that was exercise number one, brothers and sisters. Tamreen rakam wahid. Tamreen number one. Al-an tamreen rakam ithnain. Now exercise number two. ضعف الفراغ فيما يلي fill in the blanks بالضمير ها هو أو ها جيد you need to fill in the blanks with either who if it's masculine or ha if it's feminine simple as that example I'm talking about brother Muhammad and Muhammad this Muhammad that then I talk about his pen so what would I say I would say قلمه his pen or would I say قلمها her pen. Which one? Obviously, we would say قلمه. Exactly. So that's uh, our current exercise, insha'Allah. هذه البنت طالبة. هذه البنت طالبة. This girl, this daughter is a is a student. اسمو اسمه أو اسمها. اسمها اسمها زينب اسمها زينب جيد اسمها زينب her name is زينب number 2 محمد طبيب محمد is a doctor وابنه مهندس وابنه مهندس and his son is an engineer وابنه and his son number 3 هذا الرجل تاجر كبير هذا الرجل تاجر كبير. This man is a big businessman. اسمه عبد الله. اسمه عبد الله. His name is عبد الله. آمنة في الغرفة. آمنة في الغرفة. آمنة is in the room. وأم وأمها في المطبخ. Talking about the female. وأمها في المطبخ and her mother is in the kitchen. آمنة في الغرفة وأمها في المطبخ and her mother is in the kitchen. مطبخ. What's a مطبخ? مطبخ kitchen. عائشة طبيبة. عائشة طبيبة. Important brothers and sisters. The name is عائشة. It's not عائشة. It's not عائشة. But rather it is عائشة. عائشة عائشة طبيبة عائشة is a doctor وأختها وأختها ممرضة and her sister is a ممرضة what's a ممرضة ناس وأختها ممرضة وأختها ممرضة and her sister is a ناس آمنة في الغرفة وأختها ممرضة and her sister is a ناس خرج محمد من الفصل خرج محمد من الفصل خرج محمد من الفصل محمد exited from the from the classroom محمد exited from the classroom وخرج معه and uh, he left وخرج معه and he left uh, and left with him rather and خرج معه and exited with him زميله زميله and exited with him his his friend. خرج محمد من الفصل. Muhammad exited from the classroom. وخرج معه زميله. And exited with him his his friend. One more time. خرج محمد من الفصل. Muhammad exited from the classroom. وخرج معه زميله. And left with him his colleague. His colleague. ما شاء الله. Exercise number three, walhamdulillah. Hat khamsa as'ila wa ajwiba kal mithal al ati. They give you an example and they say, make up five sentence simil- sentences similar to the ones given. Example. A'indaka qalamun. Do you have a pen? Make more sentences. A'indaka sayaratun. A'indaka qalamun. A'indaka kitabun. Do you have a book? Do you have a pen? أعندك سيارة Do you have a car? أعندك بيت Do you have a house? أعندك أعندك فصل Do you have a classroom? جيد. And then he answers نعم عندي قلم 
Naam, yes, I have a pen. Naam, indi qalamun. Naam, indi baytun. Naam, indi sayaratun. Naam, indi kitabun. Naam, indi faslun. Yes, I have a classroom. MashaAllah. Remember, inda. Inda is used uh, with matches, with matters that can be separated from you. Pen, all of these things, books, etc. Whereas family relations cannot be separated. You are my brother. Well, you know what? I'm saying you are no longer my brother. No, you can't do that. So li is used for relations and body limbs. Whereas inda is used for anything that can be separated from you. Uh, give and provide five sentences as found in the example. Aindaka qalamun. Do you have a pen? La ma indi qalamun. No, I do not have a pen. La ma indi qalamun. Ma indi qalamun. I do not have a. I do not have a pen. So another sentence would be Aindaka kitabun. La ma indi kitabun. Aindaka kitabun. La ma indi kitabun. Aindaka baytun. La ma indi baytun. Aindaka sayaratun. Do you have a car? La, no. Ma indi sayaratun. I do not have a car. Aindaka jawalun. Do you have a phone? La, ma indi jawalun. Ma indi jawalun. I do not have a mobile phone. Masha Allah. Jamil ya mashaykh. The next matter, they give us a picture of a house. And you find there, a house is baytun. Baytun, a house. But if we add the ya, it becomes bayti, my house, my house. Example, rabbun, then rabbi, my rabb, my rabb. Deenun, deen, religion, deeni, my deen, my religion. Qalamun, a pen, qalami, my pen. Then we have the baytuka, baytuka, your house. So, Beiti, my house. Beituka, your house. Beituhu, his house. Beituhu, his house. And Beituha, Beituha, her house. Beituha, mashaAllah. Beituha means, Beituha means her house. And so, in number five, exercise number five, that's exactly what they want you to do. They gave you the word Qalamun. And then we say, Hada Qalami. This is my pen. Hada qalamuka, this is your pen. Hada qalamuhu, this is his pen. Hada qalamuha, this is her pen. The similar with regards to the word kitabun. Kitabun, a book. Hada kitabi, this is my book. Hada kitabuka, hada kitabuhu, hada kitabuha, this is your book, his book, and her book. MashaAllah. Sarirun. A bed. Hada sariri. This is my bed. Hada sariruka. This is your bed. Hada sariruhu. This is his bed. Hada sariruha. This is her bed. Ismun. Name. Hada ismi. This is my name. Hada ismuka. This is your name. Hada ismuhu. This is his name. Hada ismuha. This is her name. Mindilun. What's the mindilun? The brother, he's ill, so he's using the mindil. Mindil is, mindil is a handkerchief or tissue. So it says, mindilun. Hada mindili. This is my tissue or my handkerchief. Hada mindiluka. Hada mindiluhu. Hada mindiluha. Next one. Ibnun. Son. Hada ibni. This is my son. Hada ibnuka. Your son, Hada Ibnuhu, this is his son, Hada Ibnuha, this is her son. Sayaratun, what's a Sayaratun? Sayaratun is a car. So, ha, would we say, would we say Hada Sayaratun or would we say Hadihi? MashaAllah, you guys are awake. Hadihi Sayarati, because it's feminine, we cannot say Hada, we say Hadihi Sayarati. Hadihi sayaratuka. Hadihi sayaratuhu. Hadihi sayaratuha. Miftahun. Hada miftahi. Hada miftahuka. Hada miftahuhu. Hada miftahuha. This is my 
my key, this is your key, this is his key, and this is her key. The last one, yadun. Yadun is a hand. And we have two hands, so technically we'll regard it as feminine. So we would say, Hadihi yadi. Hadihi yadi. Hadihi yadi. And then, Hadihi yaduka. This is your hand. This is your hand. Hadihi yaduka. Then, Hadihi yaduhu. This is his hand. Hadihi yaduhu. This is his hand. And then lastly, Hadihi yaduha. Hadihi yaduha. This is her hand. Hadihi yaduha. Excellent. And so exercise number six, uh, iqra. They say to us, iqra. Ma ma'ana iqra? What does iqra mean? Iqra means to read. Question, how often do you read, brothers and sisters? When last did you purchase a book? When last did you borrow a book? When last did you read a book? We're not talking about the newspaper or magazines or WhatsApp, etc. No, rather, when last have you sat down with a book and read a proper book? Subhanallah. Iqra. Li, what does li mean? Li means... I have. Laka, you have. Laka, you have. Lahu, he has. Belongs to him. Laha, she has or belongs to her. Belongs to her. We said that li, uh, the lamb, it's used for like, uh, you know, relations and body parts, that which you cannot separate from yourself. Let's read. Number one. Li, uhtun wahidatun. Li uhtun wahidatun. I have one sister. Li belongs to me or I have uhtun. Sister wahidatun is a describing word. Uh, describing the sister. One sister. Not tall sister, not short sister, but one sister. Number two. Alaka akhun. Do you have a brother? Alaka akhun. Do you have a brother? La mali akhun. Ma li akhun. Do you have a brother? La ma li akhun. Do you have a brother? No, I do not have a brother. Alaka akhun. Do you have a akhun, a brother? La no. Ma negation. Ma li akhun. I don't have a brother. Number three. Ukhti, my sister. Laha tiflun sagirun. Laha belongs to her. She has a tiflun sagirun. She has a small kid. She has a small child. Ukhti laha tiflun sagirun. My sister has a small child. Zamili lahu akhun wa ukhtun. Zamili, my colleague. Lahu, he has. Akhun wa ukhtun. He has a brother and a sister. My colleague, he has a brother and a sister. My colleague, he has a brother and a sister. And they tell us in brackets there, نقول عندي كتاب We say, عندي كتاب We say, I have a book. ونقول لي أخون But when it comes to a brother, we say, لي أخون We don't say, عندي أخون We say, لي أخون لا نقول عندي أخون We do not say, عندي أخون But rather, specifically, we use the word, لي Excellent. Uh, then exercise number seven, the word ma'a. Ma'a means with. It is unrestricted. Unrestricted. Ma'a is unrestricted. They could be together wherever. Kharaja Hamidun Ma'a Khalidin. Kharaja Hamidun Hamid left Ma'a Khalidin with Khalid. With Khalid. So Hamid left with Khalid. Jamil. And see Khalidin. Why? Because it came after Ma'a. Jamil. Zahab uh, al-Tabibu Ma'a al-Muhandisi. Zahab al-Tabibu Ma'a al-Muhandisi. The doctor he went with? He went, went with the engineer. Zahab al-Tabibu went the doctor Ma'a al-Muhandisi with the, with the, with the Muhandis. What's a Muhandis? Engineer. The doctor went with the engineer. Number three. جلس المدرس مع المدير. جلس he sat. Who sat? المدرس. The teacher sat where? مع المد مع المدير. With the principal. The teacher sat with the principal. من معك يا علي؟ من معك يا علي؟ من معك يا علي؟ Who is with you, O Ali? 
Who is with you, O Ali? Man ma'aka ya Aliyu? Who is with you, O Ali? Who is with you, O Ali? Ma'i zamili. Ma'i zamili. With me is my colleague. Man ma'aka ya Aliyu? Who is with you, O Ali? Ma'i zamili. Who is with you, O Ali? Ma'i zamili. Man ma'aka ya Aliyu? Ma'i zamili. Who is with you, O Ali? Ma'i zamili. With me is my colleague. One more time. Man ma'aka ya Aliyu? Man ma'aka ya Aliyu? Who is with you, O Ali? Ma'i zamili. With me is my colleague. Aminatu ma'aha zawjuha. Aminatu ma'aha zawjuha. With Amina is her, is her zawj. With Amina is her zawj. Her zawj, zawj meaning? With Amina is her, is her husband. Ma aminatu ma'aha zawjuha. Amina with her is her husband. Number six. Kharaja abi min al bayti. Kharaja abi min al bayti. My father left from the house. Man kharaja ma'ahu. Who left with him? Man kharaja. Kharaja, exit to leave. Man kharaja ma'ahu. Who left with him? Kharaja ma'ahu ammi. My uncle left with him. And am is your father's brother. You find many a times the Egyptians. Ya ammi. Ya ammi. My uncle. Jayid. Oh, my uncle. So am father's brother. Kharaja ma'ahu ammi. Left with him. My father's brother. My father's brother went with him. Jamil. So brothers and sisters, exercise number seven was dealing with, was dealing with the word ma'a, which means with. Uh, then they give us uh, exercise number eight, uh, very simple one, walhamdulillah, all you need to do is just read through it. Baytun, a house. Baytuka, what does baytuka mean? Your house. Baytuhu, his house. Baytuha, her house. Beiti, my house. Abun, what does abun mean? Abun means father. Abuka, abuka, your father. Abuka, your father. Abuhu, his father. Abuha, her father. Abi, my father. Akhun, a brother. Akhuka, your brother. Akhuhu, his brother. Akhuha, her brother and Akhi, my brother. Masha Allah, Masha Allah, Jamil. Then they give us uh, Abi wa Ummi fil Beiti. Abi, my father. Wa Ummi, my mother. Fil Beiti, in the house. My father and my mother in the house. Aina Abu Kaya Hamidu. Aina Abu Kaya Hamidu. What does that mean, brothers and sisters? Aina Abu Ka. Aina, what does Aina mean? Where? Aina Abuka. Where's what? Aina Abuka, where's your father? Aina Abuka. Oh, Aina Abuka ya Hamidu. Where's your father, O oh, Hamid? Zahaba ila suqi. Zahaba ila suqi. He went to the marketplace. He went to the suq. Zahaba ila suqi. Number three. Aakhuka tabibun. You met somebody in the haram and you got talking to them and this and that. And then he asks you, A'akhuka tabibun? A'akhuka tabibun? Is your brother a doctor? Uh, is your brother a doctor? La huwa mudarrisun. La huwa mudarrisun. No, he is a teacher. La huwa mudarrisun. Number four. Zainabu fi riyadi Zainabu fi riyadi Zainab is in riyad. Akhuha fi ta'ifi. Akhuha. What's akhuha? Her brother. Akhuha fi ta'ifi. Her brother is in ta'if. Wa abuha fi al-madinati al-munawwarati. And her father. Wa abuha fi al-madinati al-munawwarati. And her father is in Medina al-Munawwara. MashaAllah. May Allah take us <coughs> to Medina al-Munawwara many, many, many times. Number five. هذا الطالب هذا الطالب أبوه وزير هذا الطالب أبوه وزير 
هذا طالب أبوه وزير the student his father is a minister وزير is 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 a minister وأخوه and his brother تاجر كبير and his brother is a big businessman his brother is a big businessman so his father is a وزير or rather his yeah أبوه his father is a minister and his brother is a big businessman ما شاء الله number six ذهب أخي إلى المدرسة my brother went to school مدرسة technically means school ذهب أخي إلى المدرسة my brother went to school وذهب أبي إلى الجامعة وذهب أبي إلى الجامعة and my father went to university وذهب أبي إلى الجامعة جامعة university exercise number nine Muhammadun names Muhammadun then we got Khalidun then we got Hamidun then we got Abbasun then we got Mahmudun MashaAllah all of them are normal names and they all take Tanween meaning double Fatha double Kasra or double Dhamma whereas below that we have male names which end with a Ta which end with a Ta like female names and so these male names do not take tanween. They do not take double fatha, double kasra, and double dhamma. Example, Hamzatu. See, above we said Muhammadun. But for Hamza, we do not say Hamzatun. We say Hamzatu. Talhatu. Usamatu. Mu'awiyatu. Ikrimatu. MashaAllah. Jayid. Let's uh, discuss some of these names. Khalid. Khalid was Saifullah. Famous uh, companion of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the sword of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. And the ajeeb thing is that Khalid ibn Walid, he died on his deathbed. He didn't die on the battlefield. And he says, I died today just like an animal dies, subhanAllah. There's no space on my body except that I have wounds, but this martyrdom was not written for me. But we say, subhanAllah, you know, if somebody intends something and he wants something sincerely, Allah will grant it to him. As the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, whoever asks Allah for martyrdom with ikhlas, Allah will grant it to him even though he dies on his deathbed. So that was Khalid ibn Walid and he had passed away in the month of Ramadan. Hamidun. Hamidun, we discussed that name previously. Abbasun, Abbas was the famous uncle of the Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Mahmudun, Hamzatu was an uncle of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Hamza, uh, and the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and Hamza, they were both breastfed uh, by the same woman. They were both breastfed by the same woman. And that's why when somebody offered and they said, Ya Rasulullah, you know, why don't you get married to Hamza's daughter? She's your cousin. Why don't you get married to her? He says, no, myself and Hamza, we are also brothers due to, due to suckling. Talhatu, Talha ibn Ubaidillah, one of the famous ten companions who were granted the glad tidings of paradise, Talha. Uh, then we have Usama. We discussed Usama ibn Zaid, companion of the Rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Muawiyah, Muawiyah, also famous companion of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Muawiyah ibn Abi Sufyan, and he is also the founder of the Umayyad dynasty. So after Hassan radiallahu taala and he stepped down in the year forty or forty one A.H. Am al Jama'ah. After that, Muawiyah took over as the caliph of the Muslims, and that was the beginning of the Umayyad Umayyad dynasty. Ikrima, Ikrima. Uh, also, this was uh, the son of Abu Jahl. Ikrima, the son of Abu Jahl. Father was a criminal, but Ikrima, mashaAllah, embraced Islam. Alhamdulillah. Iqra al asma al atiya. Read the following names Khalidun, Khalidun, Hamza tu, Ammarun, Ammarun, Anasun, Muawiya tu, Hamidun, Usama tu, Ikrima tu, Abbasun, Abbasun, Muhammadun, and Talha tu, Talha tu, Jamil. Al Kalimatu al Jadida two new words Az Zamilu the colleague Az Zoju the spouse Wahidun one Fatan Fata young lad Ma'a with Atiflu Atiflu the child Al Kuwaitu Kuwait 
and al-lughatu the language al-lughatu the the language al-lughatu the language walhamdulillah ya abdullah ya amat allah walhamdulillah would that we have now concluded we finished off lesson number 10 of our syllabus walhamdulillah and in reality that's almost halfway through the book, MashaAllah, Tabarakallah, Bithnillahi Ta'ala, in our next majlis, we will go through lesson number 11, which is a revision lesson, insha'Allah. Ya Abdullah, Ya Amat Allah, before we end off, a maxim from the Noble Quran, insha'Allah, a maxim. So we've been going through one maxim in every majlis, a few words from the Noble Quran, which in reality one can write uh, volumes about they are short foundational rules. Walhamdulillah. In our previous majlis, we covered in akramakum indallahi atqaqum. Verily, the most noble from amongst you with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala are those who have the highest levels of highest levels of taqwa. It's not the color of your skin, the language you speak, the passport that you carry, the amount you have in your bank balance which dictates your value with Allah, but rather your heart, rather the matter of your taqwa. MashaAllah. Maxim number 13, insha'Allah. Aba'ukum wa abna'ukum. Your parents and your children. La tadruna ayyuhum. You do not know which of them أَقْرَبُ لَكُمْ نَفْعًا is closer to you in benefit. Your parents, your children, you don't know who's closer to you, who's better for you in terms of benefit. This is Surah An-Nisa, verse number 11. And this was mentioned in the middle of the verses of inheritance. If, for example, the matter of inheritance was left up to myself and yourself, how much I want to give to this person and that person, maybe sometimes we would give more to our parents, less to our children. Maybe this child, we give more to this child. Maybe to the other child, we give less. Maybe we say, you know what, this son of mine here, he's got enough, and so I'm not giving him any inheritance. My father and my mother, they are old now, so they don't uh, uh, need any inheritance. They are living with my brother. He's looking after them. Subhanallah, if this matter was left up to the mind of insan, every person would use their whims and their fancies and they would decide their own way and Allah Mustan, we might have a lot of corruption we might have a lot of people who were, who, who, who are denied we might have many incidents of people that they supposed to get some inheritance but they are done down because uh, you know we had an argument because I don't like you because you got married to this girl I was not happy with you getting married to her etc etc Allah Mustan. and that's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala set out the matter of inheritance in the noble Quran it's not left up to the Mawlana, the Sheikh, the Imam. It's not left up to us. Rather, Allah stipulated specifically in the Noble Quran. So and so dies, the son will get this amount, the daughter will get this amount, the parents will get this amount, the brothers will get this amount, who will get, who will not get, how much they will get, what share they will get, etc. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala set out this matter clearly. Why? Because it's to do with money. And money, you love money, a great love for wealth, and we will fight and we will kill one another, and we will go to the high court and we'll have court cases which last years on end because... For our love for money, Allah Musta'an. Whereas when it came to salah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala states in the noble Quran, Aqim is salah, establish the prayer. Allah doesn't talk about the number of rak'ahs and doesn't talk about uh, the surah Fatiha in the salah and this and that, etc. No details, no super details about it. But with regards to inheritance, we find super details. Why? Because Allah knows this creation that He's created. Allah knows how much we love wealth and how much we will fight over it. Allah Musta'an. Ya Abdullah, Ya Amat Allah, so the verse again, that your parents, your children, you don't know who's closer to you in benefit. And had it been up to us to decide who to give, we would be using our minds and we would be causing a lot of chaos. Also, this verse indicates to us that, you know, maybe for example... Uh, something I might dislike it, I might not be too happy about it, but it's better for me. Maybe somebody Allah has given him no sons. He only has daughters, four daughters, and then the fifth daughter, and then the sixth daughter. You know, he wanted a son, no doubt, uh, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given him daughters. Maybe this is better for him. Maybe he would have had a son who would have brought him nightmares. Sometimes you find that the man he's got and this woman, they've got uh, four sons and one daughter. In old age, who is the one who looks after them? 
the daughter, subhanAllah. We find that uh, who's the one who keeps in contact with the parents? Who's the one who phones, finds out how they're doing, etc., etc. Many a times those sons are all busy in their dunya. And they forget about they forget about those those parents, and so we don't know we don't know that's the bottom line sons daughters parents we don't know who is more beneficial for us Allah subhanahu wa taala is the one who knows best with regards to all of these matters and thus He has dictated the shares of inheritance and who gets and how they get etc and you can find all of those details in surah surah an nisa walhamdulillah ya abdullah ya amat allah on that note bi idnillahi ta'ala we end this majlis may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala record our sitting our learning our studying in our scales of good deeds may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us knowledge which is beneficial may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us knowledge which humbles us may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us the best in this world and in the hereafter hada وصلى الله وسلم وبارك على عبده ورسوله نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين حياكم الله يا برضي نسلام بلال إسماعيل السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته